Lau mai ki taku kau fau tua rua Ai pāna ki te rākau rongo nui nei Nā te taiaha Welcome back to part 2 of my kōrero About the taiaha But firstly I just want to thank everyone That took the time to To message me And to comment on my previous post Words of encouragement Tēnā koutou katoa Thank you for sharing it also Very humbled by the By the positive response of part 1 Oi anō me tīmata tātou So the taiaha It's also known as a few other names Has a few other names In certain areas it's known as a maipi And in other areas it's known as a honey Honey maipi taiaha But of course taiaha Is the most commonly heard And well known term Mo tēnei momo rākau For this type of weapon The origins of the taiaha Just as there are different names for the taiaha, there are also different origin stories. Uh, and it's like that throughout all of uh, Māori, uh, kōrero tuku uh, Each iwi uh, has, has their own kōrero. A lot of them uh, are similar, uh, but there are uh, variances and differences between all the kōrero. Uh, so today I'll share uh, three origin stories. Tuatai, uh, ko te kōrero i homa hia ki au. E takapau mau rākau E rai mona inia I heke mai te taiaha I a tū mātauenga So tū mātauenga He had a descendant His name was Tū whakamono ariki Now tū whakamono ariki He had a battle He was having a battle with a certain iwi But prior to that battle He had a conversation with tū mātauenga And he asked him You know if I begin to lose This pakanga can you turn me into something uh, that will uh, live on forevermore, uh, but also protect uh, my son uh, and my uri? Ai whakaia tu. So tu whakamono ariki went, he had this battle, uh, he, he began to lose the battle, him and his, uh, him and his ohu. Uh, I raroa tu whakamono ariki e putuana, uh, he was almost dead. Uh, ka heke mai a tu mātauenga i te rangi, uh, and tu mātauenga. Uh, kept his promise uh, and turned uh, his descendants into the first uh, taiaha hei taiaha mā tana tama tuatahi uh, a hei taiaha uh, kai manaki kai tiaki uh, mā, mā wana uri so as a, as a protector uh, of all of his descendants uh, koina te tei kōrero uh, another, another kōrero uh, that I've heard uh, is that the taiaha uh, is actually, actually derived from the pou whenua so the, uh, another one of two mātauengas uri uh, I wero ia I te taratū o tana pau whenua uh, Ki te kōhamo uh, O tētahi o wano hoariri Kia puta ki waho O tana arero uh, So another one of two's descendants uh, Stabbed uh, The pointed end of his pau whenua uh, Into the back uh, Of one of his enemy His tongue came out and that there is said to be uh, the first taiaha. Uh, and then the most commonly heard uh, and famous story uh, is the story about Akerautangi. Uh, now tu Matauhenga again, uh, he, he was having a bit of a debate uh, with his brother Rongo Maitane over a cultivation called Pohutukawa. Uh, now tu Matauhenga went and sought out his relation, Uru Tangiako. Uh, he, goes, he goes to him and you know, he goes, Kazi got anything that can help me to feed my brother Rungu? And he goes, oh, I've got the perfect thing for you, Kazi. And they got Takutama. Gave him his son, Akerautangi. Tu Matauenga then returned uh, with, with Akerautangi uh, to the cultivation of Tukawa. Uh, and then turned uh, Akerautangi into the first uh, taiaha. Uh, and he used that taiaha uh, ki te patu uh, i a Rungu uh, to defeat Rungu. Rungu then retreated uh, into the whare uh, and the whare became the domain of rongo uh, and the marae became uh, became the domain of, of tu mātauenga uh, ko tētei atu uh, ko wetahi atu ingoa mo te marae ko te marae are are atu mātauenga uh, ko te umu poka poka atu so I guess uh, what all these uh, origin stories have in common uh, is, is that, that atu a ao atu a tu mātauenga atu ao te pakanga uh, atu a hoki o te tangata So he's the god of war uh, And he's also uh, the god uh, 
of humankind. Koina, taku kofo tu aru, e pā ana ki te taiaha, e mihi ana. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and next week, uh, I'll, I'll be back uh, with part three. <laughs> 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 <laughs>